What's up family? Welcome to Cool Base. Welcome back to another video. This is a special day, a fresh day that we want to engage in a deep conversation with you because we had bring you some interesting breaking news which we would like to share with you in a moment. Guys, it is well known that the USA, they are the biggest bully that the world never had. The US is used to go around the world meddling in people's affairs, creating trouble, bringing conflict among nations. But at this time, things look not work in their favor because something is about to happen. As we had to bring you this breaking news this week when the FBI decided to come and tell the world and the U.S. citizen that something's about to happen in the United States of America soil. It is crazy how things get to this point, isn't it? I'm sure most of you are even surprised, like, okay, how possible the FBI had found out that there is a terror attack which is about to take place in the United States of America, knowing how powerful the United States of America they are. And hearing this kind of news on your TVs that they are about to attack the United States of America because there is a serious threat which they have been receiving from all these terrorist group. Who could have imagined that, that this will happen actually in America? Things are happening, by the way, and we're here to talk about it. So today is a beautiful day, guys, a very relaxing day, which we really want to engage ourselves in the conversation, try to bring you some of the latest uh, details that we have in our possession so that you guys can be all informed. And at the end of this video, we would like to give you also our point of view through our analysis so that you guys can also have a better understanding of the whole situation. And uh, guys, uh, tell us where you are watching us from. Uh, you tell us the name of your country and uh, we know that you guys you are you've been very supportive to our channel where it is uh, on facebook where it is on tiktok where it is on youtube you guys you have shown much love because you really finding what we are doing on this channel like something that uh, does really uh, do benefit you in one way or another way so it is for that reason that we feel like we should have this uh, good opportunity at least to thank you and show you guys our appreciation session that everything you do all the support that you manifest through the comment uh, through the subscriptions buttons we really do appreciate you you just know that we are not taking you for granted but guys before we continue make sure that you uh, give us your thumbs up because we have something that we want to discuss with you in this video and we want you to like this video on time so that this message can reach even to many people out there especially our fellow brothers and sisters uh, black americans who are found in the u.s to be aware that we are in the same page with them and we are trying to uh, see on how we can help them by informing them and letting them know what is about to happen in that country so guys uh, it is very important that uh, we have this conversation because if we don't talk about it no one else will talk it in our behalf you guys you have been seeing it this FBI uh, director, when he made this announcement on the TV. The ongoing war in the Middle East has raised the threat of an attack against Americans in the United States here on our own soil. Our country is really at an increased threat for a terrorist attack. In just the past few weeks, multiple foreign terrorist organizations have called for attacks against Americans. We are addressing these threats with a sense of urgency. I mean, everyone saw about it and we were expecting to see all this, the uh, big media such as uh, CNN, BBC, actually all the Western media to talk about this as much they are trying to talk about Russia and Ukraine as much they are trying to uh, to try to show the world how bad Vladimir Putin is a bad person and them they are the right people to help people of Ukraine. We were also expecting for them to be discussing about this as much they are trying to show us um, what is happening in uh, Israel but in fact that is not the case mm -hmm. do you know why again the same story as we know already they use their media in order for them to uh, hide what the world deserves to know 
because these are the people that will have the intention to always uh, show you what you don't want to see and hide what you're supposed to be seeing so i know this is kind of the news that no one of you want to hear but in this video we're going to talk certain things that will piss some people off but what can we say we would only want to tell we only want to speak the truth and that's what we are going to do in this video so guys stay until the end so that you get also to uh, see on which part of this video that you will find more interesting and that will benefit you from what you want to hear from us today so guys um as i was saying earlier on that uh, the united states of america they are well known as the biggest world bully mm -hmm. you know bully like when they bully you. You ask me how. Well, these people, they want you to please them. They want you to do things in the way that they want. If you go against their willing or against something that they want you to do, then they have to find a way of bullying you. And the easy way that they usually find to bully people is by starting using the, their tools whether it is uh, through the app, whether it is the internet, things that they had in vain. And since they have the influence around the world, they will even go far by going to tell other nations, other countries that you usually work with, they will go and tell them so that these countries they should abandon you and forget about you. So that once you find yourself in your own corner, once you find yourself doing your own things without happy, having the help of anyone, then for them, they'll feel like, okay, they have to succeed. Sometimes they can also go far by imposing sanctions on you. Sanctions that, you know, you're supposed not even to be having it, but they have to come and impose it to you. What kind of sanctions is that? We have seen it, how they are doing it around the world. We have seen how they, 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 they are even threatening some of the government around Africa. Take for an example, these same sanctions they had imposed it on Zimbabwe. They imposed sanctions on Zimbabwe. The men whom they had accused, saying that no, Robert Mugabe have done one, two, three, four. The men whom they had put sanctions on Zimbabwe in order for them to punish Robert Mugabe is no more alive. But yet they're still keeping the sanctions on people of Zimbabwe. That already shows how injustice people, I mean these people can be. Besides that, you guys saw recently, this year, we're not talking about last year, but this year, the Republic of South Africa, all just because they accepted to welcome the President of Russia, Vladimir Putin, whom the same U.S. had go all the way to the ICC and influence the ICC in order for the ICC to launch an arrest warrant against Vladimir Putin. The ICC, after they had obey to this command from the United States of America and launch this arrest warrant against Vladimir Putin knowing very well that if there is that one country which would be easy for them to arrest Vladimir Putin that would be South Africa because for them they have that low view of Africans where they believe that in, they can come in Africa and do whatsoever they want to do in Africa so they had that hope thinking that no they will come in africa in south africa i mean and arrest vladimir putin but for the fact that president ramaphosa refused to allow these people to come in and uh, um, arrest vladimir putin and he decided to go ahead and tell the world that we are going to welcome vladimir putin until when vladimir putin himself decided to change his mind from to not come in south africa you guys you saw how this same us had to threaten uh, south africa you know they had to come up with a lot of things including even them trying to um, cancel the agoa program which just uh, finished recently because they want to put sanctions on South Africa for something that they do not even do. Because they want to impose their leadership on South Africa because South Africa had refused to obey to what they were asking them. Forgetting that South Africa is a sovereign country and it needs to be respected. That is the kind of people that we've been dealing with, we've been trading with, we've been working with together. Oh, cause and do all these things besides south africa 
there is many countries i can tell you on how the u.s keep on bullying threatening them with their sanctions we have example of uganda with yoweri museven again this year the man who had signed the gay and lesbian bill before he even get to sign for that they were already start threatening him telling him that they are going to put sanctions on uganda they will remove the mastercard do you know guys that mastercard is what is helping uh, a country to do business with another country because when you are for an example you are from kenya and you want to deal with someone who's in south africa if you want to send money to them you need to use mastercard because through mastercard is connected through the internet and banks that are connected to the internet they'll do the transfer very easy so when these people have to come and have the courage to threaten people for uganda saying that no we are going to impose sanction on you and we will remove the mastercard that simply means to say that all the companies which has business in the outside outside of uganda they'll stuck and the economy will collapse immediately because there is no any company will go and invest in uganda there is no any company or business that person would like to go and do business over there because they'll ask themselves like okay i'm not allowed to walk or travel ar ar around with cash so how am i going to be able to go to uganda buy merchandise or to bring this kind of merchandise and sell it if i get it if i manage even to bring the merchandise in uganda how will i be able to after selling it how will i be able to combine this money together and uh, transfer it into another bank account maybe try to uh, have it in the us dollar that is how these people had to go for and threaten the ugandan government besides that the same people i'm referring to the usa they did again threaten the government of uganda telling them that no don't remove google away see the kind of people you are dealing with so this is what we are well known with there's a many 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 example i can give you on how the usa they've been bullying the world we can go in the book in alpha so you ask them they'll tell you that they're not even allowed to buy guns to buy stuff for the government to, to buy anything if they want to buy anything they must go and talk to the united states of america or talk to france so that them they'll be the middle men who will help them so they'll collect a lot of money, a lot of mineral from Burkina Faso, and then they'll choose uh, to other countries will go and supply Burkina Faso with what they need. These are the kind of people that the world has been dealing with. So guys, this have to change with an immediate effect because the world is not happy about it. No one want to see this happening again. And for the fact that no one don't want to see this happening again, that is how things have changed around the world. For the fact that USA goes around the world causing drama, trouble into other countries, making the economy of other countries collapse, bringing instability, destroying other people's country without helping them to rebuild it or developing those countries. At the same time, the US with their citizens are living at peace. No one destroyed their homes. No one comes and cause war there or conflict. Well, apparently that was not sitting okay with other people. <laughs> I know, I know, as I said earlier on, that some people are not going to like what I have to say in this video, but that is the truth and that is the fact. You can say whatever you want to say, but we are just speaking the truth. So some people out there, they did not want here's one example a very easy one maybe will, that will help you agree with me usa after leaving ukraine you know they went in ukraine seducing them telling them that no look will protect you against russia all you need to do you have to do one two three four they went there seducing uh, ukraine people signing check signing check signing check of billions of us dollar putting it on the table and people of ukraine they feel like okay we are all protected in the last minute they sleep and wake up just to find out that no usa already abandoned them because they end up realizing that the billions of money that they're spending in ukraine it they will they are not gonna benefit they're not gonna get it back because they are not benefiting anything from ukraine in our previous video i told you some of the reasons why the usa have to stop uh, uh, funding ukraine 
is because Ukraine is not like one of African country. That is the good about Africa. Each and every African country, there is minerals. So once you come, you 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 you, you give them funds. You, you you do all those things that they've been doing there over there in uh, Ukraine. In Africa, at least at the end of the day, you'll be benefiting because in the meantime, you'll be having everything that you need. That's not the case of Ukraine. So they give up on Ukraine after they already leave Ukraine in mess. Ukrainian people have been become the victim of all this conflict. Now they decide to walk away and jump in the Middle East. They jump over there because they are in a mission. And their mission is well known by everyone by now. Their mission is to stop Iran from not producing nuclear bomb. Because Iran, that's what has been their plan. So they are afraid that since they are enemy with Iran, since they don't get along with Iran, then they have to do everything by all means to stop Iran to not do things that will come and destroy the United States of America later on. Because they know soon or later, the USA will fight against Iran. So they are trying to have every possible way to neutralize Iran to not become that powerful when it comes to the army activities like guns, like rockets, like airplanes, anything that a country can engage themselves in a war with another nation. So they are trying to do all those things so that they'll succeed. They did try that in the United Nations. By influencing once again the United Nations to vote a law which will uh, stop each and every country to not produce a certain of uh, uh, nuclear bombs while them they already have those nuclear bombs so they want they are kind of like trying to to be the only one who have all those weapons so that they'll continue bullying again the world so that if you want to do something that they, they, they forbid you to do, they'll come and tell you that no, we'll destroy your country just in a second because we have one, two, three, four. That was their plan. But how can them get in the Middle East if they don't have any good reasons? So they need to find a reason. And what was that reason? Obviously, the reason was to make sure that they went through Israel. Israel, which already has been fighting with Palestine people, because Palestinians, they've been there trying to get their land back, which Israel had stolen from them. And because of this conflict between Israel and Hamas, it was a good opportunity for them to come in. I have told you before, and I'm saying this again. This so-called terrorist attack that the Israel claimed that no Hamas had attacked on them, I don't buy it. It could be their plan. Because they need something in order for... Israel to go in in Palestine and wipe off and kill all those, those innocent people and start taking the, 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 the land and implanting their own government over there. They need to find a reason. There were no a way that Israel was just going to wake up and start bombarding all those places that they've been bombarding. He needed to have a reason. So maybe, I'm not assuming, but that is me talking and it is my right to give my point of view. So, I'm saying maybe they had planned for all this. Maybe they, they were kind of like, okay, let's just try to attack a part of Israel. And then we'll make it look like, no, it is the terrorist or it is Hamas who had attacked us. Once we prove that, then the next thing will go in and achieve our mission. So the United States of America went all the way there. To do all those missions they went in and tried to influence israel and israel since they've been partners for so many years accepted their proposal after accepting their proposal they went in and that is how things start getting to the point where we are today guys you know now that they are busy killing all those innocent people we are seeing over there israel has been asked it's been given many warnings to stop the war over there. But they does not want. Do you know why? Because there are missions which that really motivated them to start all this. 
they have not achieved it. The USA have not achieved their mission. Their mission was to bring conflict over there so that all the countries that support Palestine do start also reacting. Once they start reacting, then the United States of America will have an opportunity to respond back. Let me put it down to you. Listen, Palestinians have also most of uh, Arabic countries which support them. And for your own information, even those countries who are not supporting Palestine, as we're talking right now, all those Arabic countries, they are now supporting people of Palestine. I'll tell you why. Because these people, they have understand very well that the USA came all the way from America to come and put the trouble among themselves. So, they don't want this conflict to spread among them. Instead, they want now to team up themselves against the West power. And that is how you see them now. They are kind of like supporting Palestine by threatening Israel and the United States of America. They've been telling Israel to cease fire. You guys who have Iran, who told Israel to cease fire? Because if they don't cease fire, Iran says that it's not even going to attack Israel, but they will attack the United States of America. Besides that, are you guys aware of what Yemen has been doing lately? Yemen they did decided to have a war against Israel. And they don't play. They don't delay. They react immediately. Like enough for Israelite people, it's for the fact that the USA a strike keep on eliminating all this missile from the hair before it land down. I can only imagine if all this missile was landing in Israel, what would have happened? Was Israel going to be strong enough to also react back to Yemen? Or were them going to be able to just stop the war at once? The United States of America, instead of even trying to bring peace, they are doing the same mistake that they have done in Ukraine, which is continue giving funds to Israel, vowing to support Israel until the end. The same mistake that they did in Ukraine. When all these things of Ukraine started, I told you guys that this war is going to be very, very long. I knew it. Do you know why? Because the same analysis that I'm giving you right now about what is happening in Hamas with Israel, these are the same things that I have tried to tell you guys back then. That no, the conflict which is going in Ukraine, it is not all about Ukraine and Russia, no. This is about the West power, NATO nations versus Russia. This is them trying to eliminate Vladimir Putin. They want to have at least a puppet president who will take over Russia so that they'll have the last word to say to what Russia have to say. I have said about all that. Perhaps some people never believe us when we're backing, when we're talking about all this. No one, perhaps. But today where are we? Isn't it the war still continuing over there? Because looking at it, I don't see Russia giving up. After all the spend that Russia have spent, I don't see Russia giving up. Instead, in the last two days, I heard that Russia, they have even speed up again. They took even some of the cities which Ukraine had took back. That's why you, you guys, you, you heard the Zelensky complaining that... American, they have abandoned him. They abandoned him when he needed them the most. Obviously, the men have realized that these people are not respecting their promises. <laughs> he thought as much because they were never going to respect their promises. But on the TVs, in front of cameras, you know what they do? They pretend like they're still supporting Ukraine. But that is not the case. We can all see the actions. Because there's a difference when you are 
trying to show your intentions and your actions these are total two things different sometimes they match sometimes they don't match at all and that's what we've been seeing here so today again we're telling you that no the war that you are seeing israel attacking palestine it is not all about the simple conflict that you guys you know which has been there for centuries between palestine and israel no it was a good chance that will allow the usa for them to go in the middle east and once they're in there let the party begin so the all of the middle east they don't want that they don't want that that's the reason why now they are trying also to find a proper way to stop the usa they believe that no you can't just come in our region and cause all this trauma that you've been doing you can't come in our countries and we are sitting we already have enough in our head and the next things you are coming to start causing conflict among us killing innocent people therefore we are coming for you you are coming for you and that is how they declare an open war against all this nation. I mean, the United States, obviously. So when all these things have been happening, there was a group of people which was entering the United States borders. And on the other side, maybe you guys feel like, no, they were just entering for maybe the visit to tourists or what but a lot of them they managed to enter the border illegally so they've been doing all these things once they are in they already plan everything they put everything in their possession they want to attack the united states of america and they want to do that in the same day same time as well can you imagine the the danger of that because this will be even more different to the one of uh, Osan Ben Laden. Because with Osan Ben Laden, there were a, a, a separation of time, you know, like they attack this one now after a certain period of time, they attack the second building. But this one, it looked like they had planned the whole thing for it to happen at the same time. Is that what American citizens deserve or they, they have to go through? I don't think so. Because remember, the problem is not about American citizens. The problem here is about the U.S. foreign policy. The day the USA will decide to sit at their home and focus on their own politics, I'm telling you, they won't have any this kind of problem. The day France with the british and germany and italy and belgium they will decide to stay in their home and focus on their own affairs i believe no one will try to talk even bad about them because by then i believe this world will be at peace these are the same people who goes all over around the world and making sure that peace does not reign because if peace reign for them they will fail they're not gonna survive their economy will go down everything is not gonna work in their favor that is the reason why they're doing all that so now that these people they managed to go inside the united states of america and plan for all this the fbi come and telling us that no guys look we manage at least to find out what are their plans and we managed to to be aware of where they were planning to attack they give the names of the cities which were the main target for these uh, people. Now that they have given the names of all these cities, do you have any guarantee that these cities will be well protected? Because we're talking about major cities. Cities that have millions and millions of people over it. Cities that... Uh, are being considered as a country in other states out there in the world so even the police they are aware about it even the soldiers are aware about it but there is no that guarantee showing that no if these people have to plant all those uh, bombs attack or whatsoever they call it there is no any guarantee that people will survive so guys here's the easy way that you if you are watching us from the united states of america especially from those city that will be attacked there is a way for you to survive number one 
you need to pray to your God. Mm -hmm. Am I a pastor? Nope, I'm not a pastor. I'm just telling you. Because it's the only God who protects us from many dangers that we can't even see with our two eyes. So you need to trust in God and live your life, your family, your entire family. Leave them in God's hands. That's number one. Number two, prepare yourself physically. Mm -hmm. You know, the, when we're growing up, they always tell us that, that you must have that one bag where there's everything. There must be a Caesar, there must be alcohol, there must be Panado, there must be different kind of painkillers. You know, those kind of bags. Yeah, if you have one, start packing all those tools inside. So that once you are on a run, at least you'll be able to help yourself with certain things. Once your life is in danger, at least you'll be able to protect yourself. So you need to have that. You also need to have mask. I'll tell you why. Because when you listen to this threat, uh, these people, they were targeting things like water. You know, things like... Uh, 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 chemistry like uh, uh, government facilities things like a uh, uh, cyber attack so all those kind of things obviously you will need to breathe and you need to breathe fresh hair not a hair that's already been poisoned with a, with a certain kind of uh, chemical that will come and destroy you you need something that you know you can cover your nose with and make sure that you breathe properly so you need to have a mask though covid 19 is no more <laughs> yeah guys i've seen it all you know now that i'm talking about covid 19 i'm just remembering <laughs> i'm just remembering those days when we used to be on lockdown <laughs> and you can't go out without a mask they make us walk with a mask on our nose for two years for something that us special black africans we did not even invade something that we we don't have nothing to do with it and the next things we have to be walking ar around with the mask do you know how many people lost their jobs during this covid 19 things the job that most of them never even uh, get it back because there is now a high number of unemployment and there is no new companies do you know how many business close because of covid 19 Myself, I know one of the company that I was working to before, just before that time. This company, they were using things, something else, like things which has to do with the weldings, furnitures, and all those kind of things. Things like for the hotel, luxury like hotels. You know that this company, just because they had hired many people and the need to pay them, they want to leave. One day we were all surprised to find out that no, they bring in the machine for them to start making COVID-19 mask, the normal mask that we're putting. So they, they had to leave what they were doing in order for them to go and do something else in order for them to be able to pay their workers. That is how this COVID-19 had impact so when i'm talking about it i'm just remembering it just bring that memories you know it just bring that memories but let's continue to what I was saying. So um, you need at least to have the mask on. Yes, you need to have a mask on. You need to have a cap as well. So you just need to be ready. Because if you sit over there in the United States of America and thinking that you no, know, your government will protect you or your police will protect you, then you are fooling yourself, Shem. <laughs> yes, you'll be fooling for you. You'll be fooling yourself because. These people they will only do what they can do. These people, they don't really care about your life. Mm -hmm. These people, because if they do care about your life, they're supposed not to be going around the world and causing a, a lot of trauma, you know, getting to engage in serious conflict with their enemies, making a lot of enemies, if I have to put it in that way. Because that's what they've been doing. They go around, they cause people drama, they, they, they destroy people in economy and these people they have to come and do a revenge i told you last time that imagine you are sitting in your at your place you do not provoke anyone you do not cause anyone trouble or anything like that and the next things someone come and kill your whole entire family 
and it happened that you become the only survivor in that house. The moment you get a chance to revenge yourself, will you feel pity for this person? That's the question I always leave in your mind because sometimes before we blame other uh, nations or other people what they are doing we should look at ourselves what did we do wrong so that we can get where we are that's why i ask you in the early uh, part of this video that how did we get here how did these things get at this point well we get here because some people they don't want to respect themselves simple as that so you if you are living over there in america you should not fool yourself and think that these people they care about you don't think that they love you they never love you a person who loves you will protect you and they're not gonna go around and sponsoring people with money in order for them to kill other innocent people mm -mm. it does not work like that it does not work like that a person who loves you will make sure that no they keep you out of trouble so these people they went in ukraine they did what they could done. They left, they went in uh, Israel and Palestine. Now they're causing serious drama there in the Middle East. And when they're doing all these things, they're expecting that their enemy will just going to sit down and keep quiet about it. I don't think so. I don't think so. They were going to come for them. And we knew that things were going to get to this point. So they don't care about you. And for your own information, if this attack will take place, trust me, they'll be the first one to be safe. They'll, be, they'll keep them somewhere very, very, very safe. If, if, to, even if they have to go and keep them in the, uh, somewhere in the, hair, in the aeroplane, they'll do that. Because they'll tell them that, no, these are the authorities. No, it's the first citizen of this country. We need to protect him. We need to do that. They'll be protected with their own families. What about your family? What about your family? That's why I always tell you guys that don't fool politicians. Politicians, they can, hey, those people that are ready to, they don't care. They can sacrifice you at any time in order for them to keep their honor with them. <laughs> so guys, that is how we managed to reach to this point. And that is how these people, they are coming in trying to hurt people of United States of America. And the risk or the danger about all this is for the fact that the FBI, they are way about the nationality of these people. So if these people attack now, if the United States want to reply back, there's a possibility that they can even start replying it back with those people who are over there. Arresting them, taking them some way, and executing them. They can do that, you never know. Besides that, they'll engage now in an open war with their nations. Is that what we deserve to hear? I don't think so. Is that what people of the world deserve to have? No, I don't think so. So... In, our, in order for us to avoid all this nonsense, in order for us to um, run away from all these things, we simply need to stand for peace. We simply need to stand against those people who are coming to distract the reign of peace around the world. Guys, that will be all for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. It was very important that we come and sit down and have this conversation with you because these are things that had happened through the week and we needed to come and summarize everything and try to bring a better understanding to you. Don't leave without giving us your thumbs up. We really do appreciate that. But above all, make sure that uh, you subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed. Drop down your comment in the comment section. Tell us also what you think. Yes, tell us what you think about what we just discussed about. Give us your point of view. We'll have a look on it because we really do appreciate your feedback as well. For now, continue to be yourself. Be good, be kind. Have respect for everyone in order for you to be respected. May God bless you all. I'll see you again very soon. Ciao, ciao.